Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, for those of you in separation, we're going to find out if there's a chance of reconciliation. Today is the 25th of July, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam, is 11.46 uh, a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally guide to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Currently in separation, will there be a reconciliation? We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So you've got one major kana here, which is the Fool. Typically, when it's in upright position and when we ask yes or no, will they reconcile? It's a yes. Normally, it's a yes, but Seven of Pentacles, look, this person is waiting, standing there, waiting. So it might take a while, okay? And spirits also could be encouraging you to embody the fool, which is just to set yourself free. It's okay um, to be separated from this person, even if you're waiting. If it's not you who is waiting for reconciliation, then it could be your person who is waiting for reconciliation while you're just setting yourself free, right, with the fool here. Hmm. If you haven't set yourself free, spirits definitely saying to set yourself free. Enjoy enjoy the separation enjoy your single life i'm saying enjoy because look at the fool look at the sun here the sun is a very positive energy right um indicates happiness um and look at the fool is actually only carrying this small little pouch here it's so much easier being separated from this person than being in a connection with this person so it seems like it's lighter freer and you get to enjoy uh, new possibilities. Because again, the Fool is number zero. But again, the Fool is the major arcana. When we ask yes or no, it's typically a yes. But right next to the, again, the Fool is the Seven of Pentacles. So that means you will have to wait, right? Maybe within seven days, seven weeks, seven months, or on the seventh, which is... 7th of next month or 7th of a couple of months later. Time Timing in, in tarot is not very accurate, so don't take it literally. And also, this is a general reading, okay? And we've got the Eight of Pentacles here in our verse. Yeah, I'm not putting in work, not putting in um, into, or not putting any energy into the separation. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I feel like some of you, maybe you're just doing the best that you can to not put your energy into this situation, the separation, right? In the meantime, you could be waiting and see, well, will there be a reconciliation? And also with the fool here, just setting yourself free and doing new things. If you're not doing that again, it's basically encouraging you to do that. Unless this is your person who could be an Aries, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, also strong fire energy here. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, can be any sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Chris, I'm seeing here. Unless this is the person you're in separation with currently, they could be waiting for you, uh, perhaps wanting to take a new leap of faith with you, with the fool, right, eventually, this sitting in your future position. But Six of Cups here is in one verse. This is why I was also thinking that it could be for some of you just not turning back not returning to someone from your past not wanting to because the full life will be better life will be easier without this person in your life and then we've got the page of pentacles so page of pentacles page is a messenger so you may hear from this person whom you are separated from okay they might say to you that with the six of cups in one first i'm sorry for whatever that's happened between the two of you in the past 
or、um, saying something about the past, <laughs> saying something that's for sure. But the Page of Pentacles is also offering a pentacle here, so it could indicate an offer of commitment and saying that things will not be the same like how it used to be with the Six of Cups in reverse, where both of you will take a new leap of faith with a Fool here and reconcile. Okay. So just take what resonates with you. I'm not going to tell everybody that yeah, definitely you're gonna reconcile, and if it doesn't happen, you're gonna come back here and blame me for for it not happening. Okay,、um, and again, bear in mind this is a general reading. But if you want to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Just send me an email. Okay, so it's definitely way 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 more accurate、um, because it's catered just for you and not for. For a group of you, even though it can be quite accurate, but anyway, just want to let you know that. Okay, so we got the King of Wands right here. So the person is separated from could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and then we've also got the Queen of Swords here. Well, first, this could be you.、Um, again, it could go vice versa, but. Yep, I see. For a lot of you, maybe you're not really talking to this person, or you may resent this person、um, because of something that's happened, right? In the past, six of cups in reverse because of the separation. But it feels like the person you're separated from is still interested, is still passionate about you. Look at how his eyes are so focused, looking at either the one or looking forward. It's like a very focused, intense look. So the person you're separated from is still intensely. Focusing on you, or thinking about you, or just still kind of sitting there, because the King of Wands is a King of Action. Could be waiting to take actions, or still, you know, the fire is still burning. It hasn't dim yet. It feels like the person separated from hasn't forgotten about you. Okay, so and we've got the Queen of Wands right here, right next to it. So the Queen of Wands sitting in the past position, but. These two, if you're embodying the Queen of Wands, so these two are actually looking at each other. Looks like a staring game as well, waiting. They could be waiting for you. You could be waiting for them at the same time.、Uh, if not, sometimes the Queen of, Queen of Wands can be a third party situation. If the person is separated from, this is for those of you. If you do know that your person is dealing with someone else, if that's the case, with the Page of Pentacles here. And、these three cards actually makes me feel like if they're dealing with a third party, let them, <laughs> let them. Okay, so when things don't work out between the two of them with the ten of wands, which it proves that it can be a very challenging situation between the two of them. If it's a third party, if not, scratch this part. Okay, you don't have to,、uh, you don't have to. How do you say apply it to your situation? Once it becomes way too overwhelming, and then the page of pentacles is right here,、um, and the overwhelmingly hard or challenging, then the person is separated from will then only reach out and ask for reconciliation to take a new leap of faith with you. Okay, that's another scenario. And now I've got the ten of wands. Ten of wands is like almost there. I'm almost there.、Um, Let's persevere on. Let's persevere through this challenging situation.、Mm. So it feels like if there could be a reconciliation, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take a while. Okay, it's going to take a while. It, it it also could could be vice versa. Okay, for some of you, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you could be also separated from your person and dealing with someone else. If that's the case, when you deal with someone else and you're focusing on someone else, this is when the person you separated from will reach out to you and then offer you a pentacle here, commitment or wanting to talk to you. Because if you look at this, the king and the queen are looking at each other, but the page is looking at both of them, right? So that's another scenario. Let's see a little bit more here. Six of Wands here is in my first, and I've got the Nine of Pentacles. Another card that makes me feel like, in like, being single, independent. So some of you in separation, you could just be enjoying still being single, right? Being single, being independent, setting your priorities straight, 
um, maybe at the back of your mind, you could be sort of like waiting a little bit on pentacles or let them wait. Um, hmm, and this is your energy. It's basically saying also that, hey, you know what? Enjoy your single life. I keep getting that, that energy. Enjoy your single life. Uh, life is easier without this person in your life because look at the ten of wands here. You may have been separated from this person because yeah, it was very challenging or maybe you had to carry a lot of burden in regards to this um, connection. And we've also got the nine of pentacles in the Perhaps they were unstable in some way, shape or form. Um, could be because of money, because of career or because of not being to, not being able to commit and I don't, uh, sorry, king of swords in reverse, lying or something that is not clear and then six of wands here is in reverse some of you maybe it's because you can't see or they can't see at this moment that um, that this connection could be successful hence it resulted in a separation but also at the same time it's like someone is not giving the appropriate attention to the other person. Well, someone, if I say someone, that means it could be you or the other person. It could be any of these things, yeah. It could be lying, it could be cheating, it could be something that is wrong. Um, with this person, it feels like it's this person. It doesn't feel like it's you unless it's roles are being reversed. I would say at least 80% of you is this person. Um, hmm. Maybe also this person is unclear whether they want commitment or not. Could be any of those things. But I want to pull up a few of these romance angels here. Let's see just a little bit more. Let go of control issues. Some of you, you know, you may feel that... It feels like the fool right here, just letting go of this. Maybe this person, your ex, was very controlling, or it could also be just you. Um, it's basically saying, "Hey, let go of control of of this." How do you say? It? Let go of. If you've been thinking or wondering, will we reconcile? Will we reconcile? I hope we reconcile. If that's the case, this part is just for someone. It's basically saying. Don't think about the outcome. Just set yourself free and focus on yourself, right? When this person figures it out, eventually they'll come back. And by the time they come back, maybe you don't want them anymore. Maybe you've already met a new person, right? Um, just there's no control. You have no control over the outcome of this situation, whether both of you are going to reconcile or not, okay? We've got the chemistry here. It is safe for you to love children finances and career release your ex see so spirit is definitely encouraging you to release your ex to release this person and then maybe again finances and career it can indicate either you are focusing on your finances and career or spirit is encouraging you to do that to do so and then children it's basically saying the person is separated from could be acting childishly or just not ready right and it is safe for you to love chemistry yeah so maybe for some of you the reconciliation can happen or will happen when either one of you feel that it is safe for to be recon to to reconcile okay and then the chemistry here looks like again i mentioned this right the king of wands and the queen of wands here looks like the the person you separated from still feels very strongly for you still desires you still pa still is passionate towards you and they're two person here two person whether you want to admit it or not there's a king and a queen here so it's either you want to admit it or not or you're just not trying not to think about it right eight of pentacles and love verse trying to move on um but the feelings i would say the feelings or that chemistry is still there okay it hasn't dissipate yet even when both of you are separated all right earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe 
do subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs, my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.